This video should help you with the graphing portion of 4.4 number 2. In the first parts of the question, you are given this function here, and we should be able to tell that this is an x times an x squared, so that's going to be a cubic function, so that's important to remember. Finding the x-intercepts, those occur when y is 0. You, since they're in factors like this, you can take each factor, set it equal to 0. So x would be negative 3 and x would be negative 2. They do want you to put it in ordered pairs with a comma in between. So there's that one. The y-intercept, we let x be 0. So if that x becomes 0 and that x becomes 0, we have 2 times 3 times 2 squared, and you end up having 24. Again, you want that to be an ordered pair. This part asks about the multiplicity, and that, remember, is how many times a root is repeated. So the leftmost 0, that means the most negative, that would be that one, and up here the exponent is just a 1, so that multiplicity is 1. And the rightmost one, the most positive one that we have, is here, and the exponent is 2, so its multiplicity is 2. So now we're ready to do the graph. So we'll click to enlarge the graph, that's the best thing to do. And we said it was a cubic function, not a parabola, so we're going to click this. And note that it says it's a four-point tool. So we have to have four points. We already have two, three. We already have three. Let me move this over a little bit. We have one, two, three points. So you do need to figure out another one. And so if you think about it, you're going to be at negative three, at negative two here. You're going to be at zero and up to 24. So right now that looks like a parabola. What I suggest is perhaps picking another negative number to the left there. And do that on paper before you start this. So when x is negative 4, if I plug negative 4 there and there, I end up with 2 times negative 4 plus 3 times negative 4 plus 2, that thing squared. That's 2 times negative 1 times 4, and that would be negative 8. So I'm going to graph also the point negative 4 comma negative 8 and see if that works for me. So I'm going to choose this tool and I'm going to come over here and do the first the x-intercept. So that's negative 3, 0. And before I go further, look at the yellow line. If you're not exactly on the right point, you're going to see it up there in the yellow line to the right because it tells you the point. Then we're going to go over to negative 2, 0, click. We're going to go to 0 and up to 24. And I'm watching the yellow bar and see when I get to 24. And I'm going to click. And then my other point that I was doing was negative 4 and negative 8. And watching the yellow bar, there we go. So now that does look cubic. And I included the three points that I had figured out in the first part of the question. And then I picked a, a fourth one. So that should work. We're going to hit Save. We're going to check our answer. And we did get that one done correctly. So hopefully, hopefully that helps in, in doing this question. I'm sorry if that, that question has updated. And so I need to add this video to, um, to the lecture notes and the lecture videos. So I will do that right now and I'll make a note to let you guys know. All right.